Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at the MTET by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Unlocking new expressions of your gear is a great way to breathe new life into circuits that you feel like you have plumbed the depths of. So much of my workflow and so many of my essential pieces of gear are so heavily reliant on MIDI that I can often find myself kind of looking more shallowly at my non-MIDI pedals. And that isn't to say that I don't use those pieces. Fully half to three quarters of any given pedal board I build for this studio are non-MIDI pedals, mostly drives, but often certain reverbs or certain delays, I won't even hook up MIDI if I have a kind of set it and forget it sound. But if there is one thing that I tend to overlook in the kind of feature set of my non-MIDI pedals, it tends to be expression control. And there's a couple reasons for that. A large one is the fact that you often see me with pedal boards up on tables like I currently have, uh, and that is less than hyper conducive for expression parameter changes while playing guitar. Uh, and another reason is just, uh, I like predictable MIDI clocked, locked to tempo style expression changes. I like expressive time-based parameter adjustments. Uh, and I like to be able to kind of do those things without really having to think too deeply about it. Let's talk about MTET from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Uh, for the uninitiated, the MTET, this incredibly standard sized enclosure, very pedal board friendly enclosure, is MIDI five pin in and through, nine volt power, and on the back you have four TRS jacks. And what this thing does is something incredibly useful. For the uninitiated, what the MTET does is take MIDI five pin signal, MIDI CC values, and converts them to analog expression out of four ports. For those of you with no previous knowledge of MIDI or a very, very kind of lower than baseline understanding of MIDI, let's run through what I hope is the kind of most simplified explanation of the style of MIDI we're looking at in this video. We're not getting into program changes, MIDI clock, or anything like that because the MTET only deals in MIDI CC messages or control change or continuous change messages. A control change message is essentially a value change mapped to a specific parameter on a MIDI controllable pedal. Uh, for example, let's take a look at the Chase Bliss Mood Mark II. Uh, this is a MIDI capable pedal, which means it has MIDI, MIDI CC values mapped to kind of all of the necessary parameters on the pedal. And in order to make a specific adjustment, you need to look at basically three different numbers in MIDI, starting from the broadest to the most specific to your end goal. You have the MIDI channel, the MIDI control change number, and then the MIDI CC value. Essentially what you think of when you think of those three layers is the pedal that you're trying to hit, the control you're trying to hit within that pedal, and then the value you want that control to be. So a quick example from the Moods MIDI manual would be, if I have this on MIDI channel one, I want to change the, let's say the mix control on this, which is MIDI CC number 15. So I would send, and say I want it to be fully wet. So I would send over MIDI channel one, a MIDI CC number 15 control change, a value of 127. And what that is doing is essentially telling this pedal to listen for that control change. It's telling it which parameter is meant to be changed and it's telling us the value it is changing to. And for all intents and purposes, this is all you need to know about MIDI for MTET and for this video. MTET is a converter pedal that takes that MIDI data and converts it into analog TRS expression control. So rather than aiming at the kind of digital brain of a MIDI capable device, you are converting that information from MIDI to expression control. So say you have something non-MIDI like the Montreal Assembly count to five, but it does have an expression input on the side and a little switch here where you can tell it what parameter you want expression to control. This thing will allow you to take MIDI information, whether it is MIDI expression information or control change information, and it will convert that information to an analog expression control for a pedal like 
this. And what that does is give you shockingly granular hands-free control over some of your pedals, but it also unlocks some of these non-MIDI pedals into kind of moving random and chaotic or reasonably predictable expressive instruments unto themselves. The ability to do things that you wouldn't be able to do to the pedal without using your hands. So allowing you to basically hands-free do impossible things with these pedals while still playing your instruments. And there are basically three main applications that I feel the MTET brings to the table for my workflow at least. Expression pedal distribution, basically the ability to take an expression pedal and send it to four different sources depending on when you want to do so without having to do any physical repatching of cables. Number two would be kind of fake preset recalling on your non-MIDI, non-preset pedals. The ability to set a CC message at a specific value so that you can recall multiple different values of that, of that parameter on that pedal on the fly incredibly quickly without having to reach down and get the knob exactly where you want it to be. And third is living, breathing, moving expressions of those pedals. MIDI controllers like the Morningstar MC6 and DAWs like Ableton have the ability to send MIDI CC waveforms, essentially sine waves, triangle waves, or random LFOs that send kind of a variable value of MIDI information, like a, like a sine wave that sets, starts at zero and kind of sweeps up and down across that kind of control on that pedal in time with your project or randomly, but basically moving that knob in sometimes inhuman and impossible ways without you having to even touch it. And this thing allows you to actually target specific pedals with all of those things. That MIDI input may be for all four channels, but on this device itself, you basically set the MIDI channel you want this to be. By default, it is set to MIDI channel five. And then by sending one of those values, one of those CC values to either CC numbers one, two, three, or four for those four ports, you can target whatever of these available MIDI options you you want to one or multiple of the devices on the receiving end of this box. Look, I know that was way too much information. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's just go to some sound samples. Let's look at some implementations of the MTET, some pr very practical applications, as well as some really, really kind of chaotic ones. Some things that you cannot do with your board without something like the MTET. So the way we have this board set up is basically that every single thing on this board is being controlled via expression on the MTET. So we are using the Zombie by Btronics, um, the Float from Old Blood, the Count to Five from Montreal Assembly, and the Old Blood Church's collab, the Screen Violence. Uh, across the board, we are controlling tremolo speed on the Btronics. We are controlling uh, the direction of the delay in mode one on the count to five. We are controlling screen on the screen violence, AKA kind of your reverb slash modulation amount. And then we are of course controlling the cutoff on the uh, float. Before we start messing with any of that, here's what our clean tone sounds like. This is my Jennings Voyager with McNelly Chaplin humbuckers into the quad cortex running a pair of Fender amplifiers. So there are a lot of potential uses for something like the MTET, and I find that one of the kind of most instantly useful and a great way to really understand exactly what's happening here is by taking something like a traditional expression pedal and being able to kind of distribute it out when you want it and where you want it. So something like this Dunlop Volume X Mini, uh, you can use that TRS port on the top to run it as an expression pedal directly into any of these pedals. Uh, no MIDI required but you can only run it to one of them. And if you wanna switch it, you have to switch uh, what it is plugged into. You have to repatch, you have to take that cable and move the other end of it from device to device to kind of control everything. By running it into my MIDI controller here, I'm converting this pentiometer's expression value into CC values inside the MC6. 
I can then take that over five pin out to the MTET and distribute it back out as analog expression control out of these four ports. And what's really cool there is, let's turn everything on. And you can see the change in those uh, lights as we go. And you can see that all the lights are lighting up over here saying that we are actually distributing this expression pedal to all of our pedals right now, uh, which in context sounds like this. But what's so cool about the combination of an expression pedal, or an expression pedal, a MIDI controller, and the MTET is you can actually use something like the MC6 to strategically distribute out this expression control. So uh, let's take everything to kind of medium right now. And then let's press zombie. So by pressing zombie over here, I am now only sending MIDI, this, this MIDI, uh, this expression controller as MIDI to expression output four, allowing me to ramp only my, the speed of that tremolo on the zombie. And I can ramp it in time as I'm playing, or I can set it anywhere hands-free. Uh, I mean, you know, if it was on the ground and I wasn't doing everything with my hands right now, but uh, you could actually hit zombie, set your expression exactly where you want it to be. Hit screen violence. Sweep that up to the amount of reverb that you want. Jump over to float. And then find the exact direction and pitch that we want for our delay. So how are we doing this? Uh, basically, for this specific unit here, for the MC6, uh, by using the uh, Morningstar desktop editor, uh, you can also do it in here. You can assign, when you plug in an expression pedal like this, in their editor, you can assign that expression pedal to various uh, CC outputs that do various things. We're just using kind of like linear expression control. It's just a straight up zero to 126 MIDI value on this thing. But you can also kind of change the min max parameters on a pedal by pedal basis. You can invert that sweep for certain devices if you want to all within this thing's desktop controller. Um, and then they also have a series of uh, context specific messages you can send on each of these switches where it pulls up by double tapping this. Uh, you can see it says double tap for chaos. I have this set so when I double tap it, it syncs to everything at the same time. But when I tap individually on any of these, it basically, this controller is then told to distribute this thing only to one of these four MIDI CC messages uh, or MIDI CC uh, parameter channels. Uh, and that is what I think is an incredibly useful way of controlling expression, not only amongst a bunch of uh, expression pedal controlled pedals, but like MIDI or not, this is an incredibly effective way to quickly get into a bunch of expression control fast, regardless of whether or not your pedals actually have MIDI. Okay, let's go to what I'm gonna call complication level two. Let's really quickly um, bypass the float. <laughs> Say we've set our expression where we want it to be. Or the violence. We have set our zombie speed where we want it. Mm -hmm. 
and then we jump up to what I'm calling some presets. Um, because this is essentially just converting MIDI CC values to expression, you don't have to be using an expression pedal like this. You can just generate MIDI CC values from inside of the, uh, the your, your controller itself or your DAW or whatever it is that you're using. What I'm doing here is uh, on this side, I'm, I have my screen decay control for basically two presets. I've got them titled as light violence and heavy violence because uh, I was feeling uh, precocious when I when I when I put this together. <laughs> And you can hear there that it's basically just a lower CC value. I think I'm sending for light a CC value of, I think, 30, which essentially is setting the knob somewhere in this range over here. And when I press it, it sends a CC value of like 115, essentially internally telling this thing this knob should be over here. Rather than having to sweep from one spot to another, either with your foot or nailing it with the expression controller itself, uh, you can actually just set some parameters you like within your uh, controller. <laughs> So let's switch up to the other mode in the screen violence, which uh, you can hear pitch changes when you make changes. So. Uh, you can take something like the uh, count to five, quantizing those repeats. And by sending specific MIDI CC messages, you can trial and error it out using a controller or by experimenting with the CC values in your editor for whatever MIDI controller you're using. I have a, I have two right here and all I'm doing, this is not sending MIDI preset control changes. These are all CC values specific to the direction on the count to five. I have a reverse delay. And a cascading octave up. And no matter where this is, it's being controlled by expression. Uh, a good example of that would be, let's switch off of expression. Uh, let's switch that expression assignment off of the direction one and set it somewhere kind of like low. When you switch it back, it automatically snaps back. Something like the count to five is a great example of this in practice because control over that direction parameter on the count to five is kind of how this thing lives and dies as a musical uh, piece of a greater context like this. And having CC messages that you know will get you where you want to be on here prevents that kind of like haphazard approach with something like an expression controller. Um, and gives you a level of specificity that you don't otherwise get. And because that control change sets the knob where it needs to be, by making changes over here instead, I am not messing with the position of that control.
Let's set both of these to low pass filters and jump to the next level of complication here. Something like the Morningstar MC6 uh, or a DAW like uh, Ableton uh, has the option to generate MIDI CC waveforms. Uh, things like uh, just a sine wave, a square wave, a triangle wave, like a sawtooth up or a sawtooth down, or a randomized LFO um, that are basically sending ch ever-changing values of a CC message. Um, that can be generated within this thing and linked to tap tempo, and then translated into expression across any of these four channels or all four channels. What we have here is the ability to send a tap tempo controlled sine wave LFO to float. random LFO. Let's stop that LFO and send the random LFO. zombie at the same time. Let's set these to band pass so we keep a little bit more of our signal. Bring back that octave up. while those waveforms and everything else are running. I can actually override all of that with the expression, and then these will be then taken back over by the waveform that persists while I mess with this.